Hello everyone and welcome. In this video, I'll be showing you how to create awesome looking hero images by just using your camera from your mobile device and a bit of tweaks in Photoshop. So this is the first image that we started off with. So you can see here, even the um, aspect ratio is not correct. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a few adjustments to this and then make it ready for our hero images for our website. Now, as I mentioned earlier on, this image was taken using my iPhone. So it is possible to get high res images that you can actually use for your websites. So this is much, much better than using your royalty free images because there are chances that you can see that image being used by somebody else. Before we dive into this tutorial, I'd also like to say that I have a course coming up very soon, which is called Photoshop for Web Designers. So what is really cool about the course is we are going to just focus on the things that you need to know in Photoshop to make you a great designer. So this is why I've called it Photoshop for web designers. If you are interested in this, I will share a link in the show notes below. Okay, so uh, let's dive in and let me show you how to do this. So the first thing you need to do is to crop your image. So I'm just gonna crop this one. So I'm gonna come over here to the, the, to, to the crop tool. Now on the top here, I've selected rule of thirds. I really like this rule of thirds because it is important that we crop our images using that because that is the way that is pleasing to the eye. Okay, so I've just uh, cropped it here. I think this is fine. I'm gonna go ahead and hit enter. Okay, so the next thing I'm gonna do here is to dehaze the image. So I'm gonna press Command J, if you're on a PC, is Control J to duplicate this layer. Because if you make a mistake, you can always go back to our first layer. So here, what you wanna do is to right click and convert this into a smart object. Okay, so now once you've done that, there's a shortcut that you need to press in order for you to get the camera roll. So I'm just gonna hit Shift Command A. So now you can see we have a new dialog box and this is our camera roll. Now here, the first thing you wanna do is to come over here to this FX tab. So click once on it. So we are going to dehaze this image. So I'm gonna drag the slider all the way to the right and you can see already that it's looking way much better. The haze is now gone. So I think that's uh, far enough. Now, once you've done that, you wanna go back to your uh, to your basic icon, and this is where you can adjust a few more things. You can go in and to make this image warmer by adding a bit of temperature to it, like that. But in my case, I'm just gonna leave it as it is. And if you notice that the saturation is very low, you can always come over here and increase the saturation like that. But as you can see, that's looking very artificial. So I'll just bring it back down a bit like that. So once you're happy with this and you're, and, uh, you're ready to uh, go to the next step, just go ahead and click on OK to commit the changes. So let's do a before and after so you can see the changes that we've done. So if I click this, you can see this is the before and this is the after. So that's a big difference already. Okay, so now the next stage is to add the text that we need on this image. So I'm gonna come over here to my text tool and then I'm just gonna type welcome to Birmingham. Right, so I'm just gonna make sure that this is centered. Okay, and it is, which is cool. I'm just gonna make sure that it's uh, much bigger. So I'm gonna hit Command T to hit to get the transform tool. And then I'm just gonna hold the shift key down while I drag one of the corners like that. So you can see now we have this text large. Okay. So I'm just gonna hit enter to commit to that. One other thing that you can actually do here is to decrease the opacity onto this welcome to Birmingham. So we can come over here, decrease the opacity. So now you can see the text is transparent. Now we can see what's behind the actual text. That's something that you can do to make it look much better. But um, we can see here that the background and the text that we're using here is pretty close. So it's not very easy to read. So one trick that you can actually do here is to add a rectangle behind the text. So I'm just gonna draw my rectangle here. And then I'm gonna drag it below the text like that and I am going to lower the opacity. So that should do. And then we can always come over here to the text and let's increase our opacity because earlier on we had reduced it. So now we can see it's much easier to read the text. Another trick you could also do to make this text easy to read is to add a drop shadow. So you can actually add a drop shadow. 
So let's try and do that quickly. So I'm going to select this rectangle and deselect it. And then I want to come over here to the text, double click. And this is where now we can come over here to the drop shadow all the way down to the bottom here. So now we can add the distance like that, the spread. So you can, you can play with these sliders to see what works better for you. So, I mean, this could be actually quite cool. So the size, I've increased the size here. So now you can see it's much easier to read. So this is how you can make changes to the text if it's quite close to the background color to make it easier to read. So I'm just gonna drag this back and I think I'm happy with that distance right and also the angle here you can actually play with the angle and make uh, the drop shadow go below or to the right so in this case I think it's better that way and you can also play with the opacity so I'm gonna hit OK and then finally what you could also do here is to add a gradient right at the bottom here of the image so I am going to click on this layer one add a new layer and then I'm gonna come over here to the gradient tool making sure here that it's black to transparent. I'm just going to click and just drag like that. Now you can see that's a bit too dark. So I am going to lower the opacity here to about that. So again, if I hit it before and after, you can see that now our eye is drawn here to where we have the text. Okay. So, um, if you have a much better image, you can always um, have a better chance of placing this text in the right place. So you can see here my other image that I have. Uh, it was much easier for me to just add it here because I had more space in the sky. So you can use those different techniques that I've shown you to make sure that this text is easier to read. So that's how you do it. So once you're ready to export, all you have to do is to hit Shift, Alt, Command, S. So now we have a chance to save this uh, for the web. So what I normally do here is to come over here to the width because this is way too big. So I change that to say 1280 or 1920. So I'll go for 1920 for now and then hit enter. And then if the size is way too big, so you can see here, this is 222 seconds at uh, 56 kilobits per second. Now, what I normally do here is to just minimize the uh, opacity, lower the opacity a bit. Uh, so I start off with like 75 and I can see here that I haven't lost a lot of uh, detail in my image. So this optimizes my image, which means that when people come to my website, it doesn't take long to load this image. So this action is actually very, very important. So you can see here at the bottom uh, left corner, we went down from 222 seconds down to 87 and we haven't lost quality in our image. So make sure that you use this step because this is very important. So once you're done with that and you have the right uh, dimensions here, you can go ahead and save and now your image is ready. Oh, by the way, before I go, uh, make sure that when it's an image, you save it as a JPEG. So there you have it. Thank you all for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and don't forget to go to mac.live and make sure you subscribe. By subscribing, you'll be notified on upcoming courses, discounts, and a lot more cool stuff. So until next time, thank you for watching and see you soon.